talking to Chance of Rain and everything. The, the truck driver kept watching all the clouds and said we were going to get a bad storm. And there's a lot of days that uh, this ain't fun, but uh, we worked in we work in mud and snow and turning below zero. Yeah, last not this last winter, the winter before, uh, we ended up digging a pivot out of the snow with scoop shovels and putting it up. We got to get all the stuff for the corner, which is on the main deck of the semi, get it off so we can get to the rest of it to unload. So we go out to the corner and throw everything off and then come back up to the pivot point. Take the, well, the pivot point off. And then we go through and start rolling pipe. We just start out at the pivot point and when we get, the truck gets to the point where the pipe has to be rolled, then he hollers roll, and I roll it off, and when we get to the end of our span length, then we uh, take our legs off and our base and all that. Then he steps off 18 steps, and then we'll roll another one, and that's how it just goes like that, so pretty, pretty simple. just about got it unloaded. We had the tires and the V-jacks and the truss rods to get off yet. And uh, then it started hailing on us, so we took the truck out to the road and parked it on the road. And uh, then county sheriffs went by and uh, it started hailing. And uh, then, I guess it was what, two days later, then we talked to the farmer and he said there was a tornado right over top of us. Monday we come back out, me and Dustin, and then we finished hauling the stuff from the road. Today we put the pivot point up and then we go through and start bowing it. And that's what, we, that's what we're doing here. We're bowing each span and then when we get done then we'll come back and we'll roll out the span cable and pull plugs out following a sprinkler chart for the pivot mm -hmm. and then put the sprinklers in. And then when we're done there, then the next step is towering it. Then put the legs on and then the base. And then you got gearboxes, your center motor, drive shafts, tires. Like Pat says, it's a five, what, five step routine? It's a five step program, yeah. routine, whatever. Unload it, bow it, tower it, hook it, wire it, and be gone. Like this first one is uh, it's a 179. It's four long pipe, an 18 footer, and then a four footer. That's one arch. The V jacks, and they're different lengths. You've got your inners and your outers, which your your inners have two notches on them. The outers have just one. And like on this one, you got green, gray, gold, orange, orange, gold, gray, green, 
the ends of them are painted. You just put them together and then your truss rods at the bottom, it just forms an arch for you. Got your half inch, half inch bolts for the V-jacks and your 5 eighths for your truss rods and spreaders and there's a lot of bolts. Jim, what were you doing there? Just hooking up the truss rods to keep the arch, the arch in the pivot. So, what are these things? These are little clips that go over the outlets for the sprinklers, and then you, we put the span cable in there. That's what holds the span cable on the top of the pipe. Starting to rain again. Yeah. What's next? Sprinklers. We pull plugs out following a sprinkler chart. Depends how the farmers want it. Yeah. Whatever they want, they get. <laughs> That's about all I could put it as. Does that have to do with the length of the field or something like that? Sometimes. Some of it, and like here, you know, you got to draw here, and you might have a wet spot, you know, in a corner or whatever, and so. Sure. How do they work? Just a rotator. Just sprays it out through the top here. And then that rotates. Just gives it a fan. I get wet, I quit. Yeah. That's the way to go. Uh, it ain't raining that much yet. So. Yeah. Yeah. If it starts lightning, then we quit. Because we ain't going to be by the pipe when it's lightning. 